Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Stephen McCoy, and you are listening to Spoken in Session. Today, we have a special guest, a good friend of mine, Sony recording artist, Xavier White. Xavier, what's up? How are you? I'm good, man. Early in the morning, up and early. Drinking. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Getting that music done? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. This EP's dropping July 3rd, man, and it seems like... Seems like we're having a good push on it too uh, through the company and the label, so I'm, I'm very excited, man. I have everybody on Instagram sharing their artwork for me, and it's That's gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great thing, man. It's, this music's really, really nice, good music, man. It speaks from a deep place in my life, so hopefully, yeah. it's good, you know. Now I know you you're here to talk about your new EP now, but before we get into that, I just want the people to get to know you a little bit better. Um, now you're from New York. I'm a Northern New Yorker. That's, that's okay. What I like to say, yeah. All and right. That, yeah, that's where my roots come from. So I'm just a I'm just a normal New Yorker man that just yeah since birth just love music and and the, and the guitar, electric guitar. Fell in love with well, guitar, man, and that's what. So you also awesome. started playing the piano, right? Uh, oh, yeah. At a young age, too. Oh, yeah. That was around, like, 10 or 12 I started playing the piano. So I'm, like, very, very good at uh, fluent in piano. And um, yeah. as good as, I, I'm pretty good just as in, uh, as in playing guitar as well. So both uh, instruments I'm very, very good at. At what age did you actually start singing? Around... 12, 13, you know, I could say the first time I, re- I remember me me actually singing was me, you know, at one of my uh, cousin's uh, family reunions, well, my, my family reunion, you know, you know, they made me sing like an uh, old Usher song, that nice and slow song, and I, and I sung it and they all liked it, and they were like, hey, maybe you should start singing all the time, and I'm like, you know what, maybe I should, so that's, that's when that kind of like took them, take, took them off, so. So, who were your musical influences growing up? Um, wow, that's a, that's a good question. I off the rip have to say Michael Jackson, 100%. And the, actually, the executive producer on the uh, EP, title of Our Last Memory, uh, his name is Angelicson. If you Google his name, you can see all the work he actually has done with Michael. And uh, Oh, wow, that's amazing. And you know what's funny? Um, the first night that I actually met you, when I saw you on stage, I don't know why, but I could definitely see uh, uh, MJ influence too a bit. Like you definitely have your own style for sure. Yeah, was, you got to have some type of influence in your music, man, or, or or you don't. You know, it depends on how the artist is. But since yeah, my, I just like his flow. I just like his energy that he brought on the record. So. You know, occasionally I do. I, I have to put some of my, my influence in the record. I think, and I think everyone else does that as well. But what separates me is the genre of music I'm creating. Like the genre of music that I'm, I'm coming out with is not you no know, pop that you hear on the radio. That's the same yeah. stuff. It's I'm, I'm trying to bring back kind of like a '90s vibe. You know? Yeah, like, that is the film. I was watching the other day the uh, the, the BET Awards. Mm-hmm. And the only performance that captured my eyes was the, the Bad Boys reunion, you know? I love that. Yeah, dude, their energy that they brought, man, those guys, man, those 90s guys, man, they know how to... They know, those, do, know how to have fun. Have man. fun, man. They yeah. Do. Everyone else now, they take it too serious, they take their music to not the extreme anymore, they make it simple. I mean, look, my, I'm not saying, look, I'm not saying, you know, my music is you know, this and that, but I could just guarantee you when people listen to this EP, they're going to like, they're, they're going to uh, guarantee like one out of the five records because each song has a different vibe to it. Yeah. So like, and my single that I'm going with, I, I believe is with so. And that song, man, that's like a beach song, like to the fullest. I mean, that's oh, cool. can't go wrong with a beach song, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's you good know, stuff. I, I think it's a California vibe, you know? I, I like to call it urban rock. If I can, if I can categorize my EP, I would just say because of the live instrumentation, but also the pop, uh, the pop vibe as well that it gives. Mm-hmm. It be like an urban pop, urban rock, new genre yeah. that I believe the people of this world will, will enjoy. Man. Like when you go into the recording booth. 
Um, is it like a, a challenge sometimes when you get in there and, and, and trying to, you know, write your records and come up with the melody? And- oh, okay, I know what you mean. Well, so for me, my, re- my, creative, my creative process when I write is always just, you know, I go to different like 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 states usually. Like I, I would fly out to Cali just to have that vibe in me for a week or two. Fly out mm-hmm. to Miami to have that vibe with me for a week or two. Then come back to New York, gather that all in, and then write. And that's what happened for this EP. I've been I was traveling around the states, man, with a, with one of my good buddies, and uh, yeah, we just you know after all the traveling, you know, it was, a, it was time to work and. I had so much to write about, actually, because of all the experiences I've, I've, been, I've enjoyed over the past time. So that's where my EP, like, has, that's, that's where my EP has been, like, created, basically, like, over around, over the country, <laughs> kind of. I, I like to say I got each piece of California, each piece of Miami in my, in my uh, EP, you know? Yeah. And um, this is, like, this sound is, like, there's some sound, man, I think people miss. You know, I think I think people that really enjoyed music from the '90s and the 2000s, like the old fabulous stuff from Wizard of yeah. Shine. You know, that remember that time? Sunshine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. And it, it's like uh, um, it's kind of like just has that. It's not that though. It's not R&B, but it has that '90s, 2000s. Yeah, vibe. that good vibe. But, but has like that. We have to always keep that modern element. Right. Like, we don't throw people off completely, so that's right. what you did in this and and you'll expect that once you hear the EP. Man. So the the name of it is Our Last Memories. Why did you name it that? I named it Our Last Memories because it, it's uh it, it's kind of it's kind of deep, man. You know, because like the friends I was I was hanging around with, you know, like during the times of me traveling and all that, mm-hmm. all that stuff. I I've always always knew that the things we were doing it, it won't be forever because yeah. of the fact that they're putting their minds into a different direction mm. so the reason i titled it our last memories is because i feel after this it's probably going to be the point where if they're not if they're going to go their separate ways and i'm going to go my separate ways because we're in a, a whole different lane you know both of us both of me and my my and my buddies it was just titled Our Last Memories because each of the songs has like, it, it, it just explains like a night or a day or, or a, 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 you know, just a time. Where yeah. We just like the vibe, man. And it's just. Yeah. You know, when the book comes in, you'll understand why it's titled Our Last Memories, you know? Yeah. So, um, do you have a favorite joint from, that you love to perform? Oh, from, man. I gotta, I, <laughs> if I got a pick, oh. I have like two. It's it's two of them. I can't. Ah man, if I had to pick one, right? Yeah. I I gotta be honest. It, it depends <laughs> on my my vibe though, man, because it's like July, and I'm gonna yeah. have to say what I'm really, really like loving right now is my the whistle the whistle song. My whistle go. Whistle go. Oh okay. <laughs> whistle go brings you there, man. I mean, if you yeah. ever wanted to just feel good but feel cool or funky at the same time, you yeah, it, man. That record, man, is like it's just so cool, man. And you just appreciate the electric guitar in the back. Well, mm-hmm. bro, I'm bringing the electric back, man. I'm bringing the electric back. I'm bringing that. I'm bringing that rock back, baby. We need it, but you know what? We need it in the right kind of way, man. You can't mm-hmm. just completely throw it at him. So I gave him a little bit, a little yeah. bit look of that electric. But oh, they're, oh man, these oh, these. So rock. how can how can people actually hear the new music? Yeah. So you would have to go to i. I you can go literally 12 a.m. July 3rd. You can go on iTunes, purchase it. That you can just look up the uh, the EP name. It's Our Last Memories. That'd probably be easier. And the and my artist name is X, or, or you can go as I am X or X. And um, yeah, it's titled Our Last Memories. You can purchase it on iTunes, or if you just want to stream it, stream it on Spotify. Look up X and look up X Our Last Memories, and you should be able to find it. And you know me, I'm a kind of artist that's very humble, so 
Yeah, you are. The only thing I want them to remember is the EP name for right now. It's Our right. Last Memories. Where do you see yourself in the, in the next five years or so? I see myself in the next five years for sure having a, a, a condo in California, but also still working on probably maybe the third album. Uh, wow. years, third Great. Album. I'm 23 now, guys, so the third yeah. album will be out by the time I'm 28. And I think, you know, that's why I picked this genre as well, man. It's like, you know, I was young. You know what was the problem when I was young? I was signed at a very young age, about yeah. like 17, to mm. update network through Sony. So, you know what was confusing about me? What took me so long wasn't because of the fact that they put me on the back burner. It was just the fact of me finding what I really liked as a musician and what mm -hmm. I really want to go for. And I think I found that through this, like, live element of music. It all happens for you. And I think right now it's going to be an awesome time. It's amazing, man. They just legalized gay marriage around all 50 states. Right, and that's great. Amazing, know, right? I mean, we can go to Cuba again. America's coming up. So I'm just, I'm just <laughs> yeah. So how can the people contact you? Contact me through... Uh, Instagram, or you can contact for bookings. You can contact Xavier's Xavier White Bookings at gmail.com. That's X A B I E R W H I T E B O O K I N G S at gmail.com. And for Instagram, Twitter, it's I M X Music. So it's I A M X Music. Now, before we conclude this interview, I have to ask you. If you can give me a, close me out with a little acapella. Okay. I don't want troubles. I don't want either of them. I just want a double. Just put it on the rocks for them. And you deserve an award. Cause I can't find no one like you. You're the one that cause a problem. But I love it and you tempted me to bite it all. Yeah, girl, you. Make my whistle blow. I know I've seen you here before. You deserve all that I can afford. You know you make my whistle go. Oh, oh, yeah. So, girl, you know you made my whistle blow. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Something is that like is ABA White, y'all? <laughs> but thank you so much for coming thank on to the show. Brother. Thank you. You know that. Thank you. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be that. celebrating in two weeks. <laughs> oh, and actually, of course, uh, it, it releases on your birthday, July 3rd, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it releases yeah. on July 3rd. Oh, right? it's, 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 it's definitely going to be a party for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Where are you going to be at? Are you going to be in New York? Nah, I'm going to be out of town on vacation. So, um, But once I come back, you know, it, it's definitely a party. My birthday is later on in the month. So, so. awesome. I mean, yeah, so when you get back, you definitely party. Let's talk more. <laughs> All right, All man. Right. So, All right. Thank you. Good, man. So I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Bye. All right, brother.